Okay. So, we got a few new people in here tonight that haven't seen the prize wheel. So let me explain how it works. Just off to my left, camera right, there's uh, two prize boxes, one of which has bigger prize, one of which has uh, trading cards. We're going to spin the prize wheel, and whichever one it lands on corresponds to a slot in the prize box. So, um, uh, I'm going to hit this button, and it's just going to it's just gonna spin, and we'll see what we get. We got 17, we got 23, we got 22s, we got 13s in chat. We got the 12 in chat. You don't win anything for guessing right. You just get bragging rights for the rest of the stream. And it looks like we are landing on... 24. Now, this is an interesting conundrum. Because the uh, the big prize box goes up to 24. The trading card box doesn't go up. only goes up to 20. So, uh, 24 actually happens to be a respin. So, wait. Wait. Wait for it. You guys might still get it right. We get a free spin. All right. Slowing down one more time. Oh shit, camera paused. <laughs> it lands on 20. Oh boy. How many of you guys like 80s pop music? Let's get us to see some hands in chat. Inside prize box number 20, we've got some Cindy Lopper. Cindy Lopper trading cards so you can she bop when you do bop. That's the only Cindy Lopper song I know of. Other than uh, The Goonies Are Good Enough, which was the theme song to the movie The Goonies, consequently. Originally, the song was called Good Enough, but the movie executives were like, you gotta put Goonies in the title, otherwise people are gonna be too dumb to know. Three glossy cards, three stickers, one stick of bubblegum. Yes, I will be trying out the bubblegum, just, just for the hell of it. Oh, girls just want to have fun with her? God damn it, I hate that song. All right. We're going to do the gum last, because that's that's what's called building up suspense. So, first of all, oh shit, I, now I'm ripping the wax paper. I'm trying not to destroy my trading card wax papers, because I'm going to make something out of it for this train one day. When, oh shit! It's a stick. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the gum in a second. That's interesting, to say the least, though. Interesting. Oh man. Talk about 80s. This friggin' card. There we go. <laughs> now, I've noticed her name is trademarked. <laughs> is that a trademark on the style of her name? Or did she actually trademark her actual name? I don't know how old Cindy Lauper is today, but when these were printed, she was 32 years younger than she is right now. I'm getting a real David Bowie vibe from these. Actually, what's on the back? Nope, nothing's on the back. Just probably pieces of a bigger picture. We'll see if we can, how many we get. These go together? Nope. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> I, I actually really like this one. This is, this is un, unironically, I, I like this one. It's just Cindy coming out of the uh, 80s TV, like it's MTV, like back in the good old days. So here is, here is Cindy Lauper with some some pirate cosplayers and she doesn't look too thrilled to be there she looks a little especially this guy right here who kind of looks like your movie sucks way before he was ever actually born okay we're gonna have to consult the we're gonna have to consult the <laughs> this is the back of this card oh this is this is on the set of girls just want to have fun Cindy was involved in the production of her first video. Well, yeah, I'd fucking hope so. Most of the props, like the pillows, posters, the old record player, and old records, belong to Cindy. She even painted the furniture herself. Well, I didn't know she was that involved, but more power to you. Here's Cindy. Uh, doing. Looks like she's doing some mixing. We're going to get a focus. There we go. She's doing some mixing on a, 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 probably a Yamaha, a Roland... I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about now. I have nothing against Cindy Lauper except for the fact that I really hate that one song. I think. I think she's pretty decent. Other, other than that, I mean, the soundtrack to The Goonies is one of my favorite movie soundtracks. So she helped make that possible. And I think. I think Good Enough is a pretty good song, even though she hates it. I still think it's a good song. Let's see what's going on. Oh fuck! Did I? Okay, I didn't mess up the back one. Good. 
Here we go. At 17, Cindy left home and moved to Vermont. She waited on tables, worked as a model in painting classes, and did other odd jobs to support herself. That doesn't really fit what's on the front, though. There aren't any plugs on the back of that thing. It can't be a pro audio thing. Oh, I didn't... Didn't realize that. May oh, you know what they're looking at? They're looking at a table of sorts, because they got a whole bunch of lights right here that's illuminating something. But she's got headphones on, so she's got to be doing... I don't know. I don't know. Cindy, what are you doing? C can we get Cindy in chat? Can we get her in chat and ask her what the fuck she's doing in this picture? So here's all the cards we got. And I would, I would have to say, out of all the cards, the only one that really resonates with me, that I really, really like, would probably be the TV one. That's my favorite out of the bunch. The rest are just kind of candid and meh. I'm sure to like a Cindy Lauper fan, like a super fan, of which I am not, uh, is <laughs> Cindy Lauper 64 <laughs> because she's 64. <laughs> <coughs> God damn. What, what kind of video game would that be? Cindy Lauper 64. Anyways, these other ones I'm not really feeling. I'm not, I'm not really clicking with. I guess maybe that one's all right too. If I have to I'm, I'm I like to pick one card out of out of every pack to put in um this thing I'm making for the bottom of the wall right here. So that's probably going to end up being this one. But I do like the TV sticker as well. This is actually get a load of this. This is a stick of bazooka bubblegum, still wrapped. It's in its wrapper. It's not just, it's, fuck, hang on. If I can get this goddamn camera to focus. Okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna run with it. This is actually a stick of bazooka bubblegum still in its original wrapper after 32 years. It's, uh, it's got the outer paper wrapping with the, the foil. It's got a it's got a Bazooka Joe comic on it, which we will try and take a look at. Let me see if I can open this up without completely destroying it. I kind of don't want to open this gum because it's. I feel like it's. It's. I don't want to say worth more, but it's it's worth more to me. Uh, with it still wrapped, just just for just for nostalgia's sake. Okay. Mm, don't want to rip it. I don't want to rip it. <laughs> I don't want to rip it. <laughs> okay. Joe, how dare you stand me up last night? I was so... This is a recording. Bazooka Joe isn't home right now. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> I'm just calling to tell you that from now on, I'm going out with shades. Over my dead body. Oh, oh that's not a recording. Get it? See, he was like, oh shit. I don't want to... I don't want to talk to her. She's giving me the business. And then she's like, I'm going to go out with somebody else. And he's like, nuh-uh. I'm still going to be a shitty person to you. Anyways, your fortune is start a bakery if you can raise the dough. Get it? Get it? Get it? You get it? It's so, it's so pristine. It's like, this is like future gum. I don't want to open it, but I'm going to have to. I feel like Dinosaur Dracula when I do stuff like this. All right. Let's see if I can open it without destroying it. Oh my god, this might be hard, better, easier said than done. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, this might be as good as it's gonna get. This might be as good as it's gonna get. Okay. I managed to, I managed to get a piece of gum out from the package here. It's still pink. It's not showing up that well on the, on tape, but... The gum is still pink, so here we go. But I'm not gonna eat the foil. Don't worry. You, <laughs> I would, I would slice it like an exacto knife, but it's like it's it's sealed on there. It's got that little zigzag pattern like what the old school gum used to have, but it's uh, it's it's stuck together from 32 years of being compressed. Here we go. Yep, it doesn't taste as bad as you'd think. It's still it's still gummy too. Can I can I get more of the gum? <laughs> can I have some more? <laughs> Maybe I'll give you a better opinion if I can have more of the gum. There we go. There's another there's another giant chunk I can rip off.
Yeah, it certainly tastes old, but it's not making me throw up. Warm it up. Get up that top dome. That's it. Oh, that was okay. Now it's now I got a bad now I got a bad part. As far as as far as old trading card gum is gone, that was actually surprisingly good, and I think it had something to do with the fact that it's it's because it was still like hermetically sealed, completely encased in foil for 32 years. It did not disintegrate. It stayed gum. It turned into gum. Like it's I don't want to show off what I've been chewing on, but you know, it's, it's gross and all, but it, it it turned into gum. It didn't disintegrate. It's still it's still gum after 32 years. And yeah, it is time to wash out that taste with some nice refreshing cola. Mm. Spin number two. Spin number two. Hopefully we'll get something this time. Don't land on two again, please. Alright, what is that? 14? I can deal with 14. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Number 14, uh, straight out of, what year is this? 1986. Straight out of 1986, we have Howard the Duck. We got some Howard the Duck trading cards. It looks kind of like Joey's World Tour in that picture right there. Um, there's a lot. There's nine picture cards, a sticker, and a stick of bubble gum. So I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to try that bubble gum. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh boy. We'll come back to the gum. <laughs> we'll come back to the... Oh, shit. The gum has adopted the smell of the cards inside. First one. Stop that duck. Which, honestly, that could... I, I just agree in general. Uh, we could just stop the unbox right here. Stop that duck. That's a character built to last right there. Look at that. Dresses like a fucking homeless bum. I guess that's to hide all the animatronics in the in the face or whatever. But you, you get the point. It's been probably about twenty years since I've seen this movie. I don't remember who Jenning is. I'm assuming this is Jenning, the person who's dressed like a like a fucking painting out of a hotel room. All right. Oh, complete with the nice little print little print error right here. Nice little nice little bubble right here by the F. Here's facing the fiend. What is okay? Who well, who's the fiend? What the fuck is going on here? Jenning, his deformed body radiating cosmic evil, has returned to the Dynatechnics lab in Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland! There's your fucking problem, I guess. What kind of psycho? Uh, trust Super Gel. What kind of psycho designs characters like Howard the Duck? George Lucas. This is good. Duckovision medical program. This has got to be some evil, some nasty flashback or something. Not one, but three ducks on screen at the same time. That's twice the nightmare. Not twice. Three, I'm doing some retard math here. This is three times the nightmare fuel, you guys. Look at this. The girl, <laughs> the girl has problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say <laughs> she's all red. Okay, what's going on in the what's going on in this scene? Oh, uh, this is this is the one that the gum was on too. The gum is all stain the back of it is this Beverly Switzler's final performance the the nefarious dark overlord grins aiming the laser spectroscope toward the heavens in an attempt to bring more of his kind to earth isn't a spectroscope just shows light like visible light spectrum isn't that all that is I guess they had to think of something sciencey. He, uh, the nefarious Doctor Overlord will point the science device at the at the the heavens to bring more of his kind to Earth. So what? Is she looking at the laser? Like she's not going to get shot with it. She's just she's just red. It's like don't look at the arc, and then she looks at the arc, and then her face blows up or something. I don't know. Anyways, we've got uh, this is this is fucking radical. This is the sticker. I think. Is that Howard with a camera, or does he have a gun? I can't tell what is and isn't part of what he's holding, either. Hang on, is there some allowed- nope, there's nothing on the back, it's just a puzzle piece on the back. No more Mr. Nice Duck! Is he- hang on, what the fuck is going on in this picture? So he's like swinging in and there's like a whole gang of bikers behind him coming in? Let's see if we can get a focus on this, yeah, this is- this is not happening. I gotta read the back of this one. 
Howard, the self the self proclaimed master of quack foo. God damn it. The Sleezoids take off, freaked by the duck's sudden attack. Bev is stunned too, and extremely grateful. So I guess that's the Sleezoids, and he swings in, and the Sleezoids. The sle fuck this movie. God damn it. I don't. I don't even care anymore. I don't even. I'm not even trying to make sense of this. Look at that. Got a, got a little 38 special right there. She's like Bever Beverly's packing. That could packing could mean something else. You, I mean, too. You never know. This is <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. Ducko Vision football commercial. Let's get a focus on this. Somewhere out there, someone's probably drawn porn of these characters. Just let that sink in. Let that sink in. While you're while we're while we're enjoying this this shitty Howard the Duck these cards, somebody out there is depraved enough to like Howard the Duck just a little bit too much, just a, just a little just a little bit. He's holding a, a bottle of Sharts. Sharts Sharts was that Sharts Master? What's that bottle say? It's for cleaning the doo doo out of your pants after you watch. Howard the Duck and realize you spent real fucking money on uh, on this stupid ass movie. We've put this off long enough. Let's let's address the gum situation here. Let's uh let's take a look at this. It's still pink. I noticed it looks a little bit washed out on camera. It's just a little bit. Still pink. Let's see. Uh, let's let's do test A. Let's do the test where we where 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 we bend it. Oh shit, it's, nope, not bending, it is broke. Okay, well then. I'm going to eat this little piece that broke off of it, and we're going to see what this gum tastes like. After 31 years, 30, 31 years uh, of being in a, in a wax package with, with nine Howard the Duck cards and one Howard the Duck sticker, we'll see what has, what it, what's done, what has done to this gum. If this gum has fucking killed itself, thanks to Blumbert, whatever his name is. Okay, here we go. That just taste of chalk, and it has completely dissolved in my mouth. It's gone. Uh. <laughs> you know what it kind of tastes like? It kind of tastes like uh, envelope glue. I think that has something to do with the fact that it's been packed up against like this recycled, this recycled ass looking paper, this cheap cardstock stuff that these '80s trading cards are always seem to be made out of. But it's not, um, it is unpleasant. I'm going to take a drink now just to get that flavor out of my mouth. It's not the grossest 80s gum I've eaten on this show, though. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Cindy Lopper's gum was the best, but it's not the worst. Um, how about Plan B? No. Beverly's Packin'? No. Facing the Fiend? No. The red face girl, no. The ducks in the hospital, no. The this just bar scene, no. The other bar scene, no. The scene where he swings in on the chain with the. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that gum. <laughs> Anyways, no. <laughs> Sleezoids, that's the name I was thinking of. I couldn't remember the fucking thing. Um, Lego gun. And the two jocks in the locker room about to fuck. Those get my vote as the, the best trading cards from the Howard the Duck pack that we just opened. No, thank you. I'm going to turn into a duck. What, has he got a duck beam? Is that what the gun is? <laughs> yeah, I ate the gum. Of course I ate the gum. I always eat the gum out of these things. I got to try it. That's part of the gimmick. That's part of why you guys want me to open up 80s trading cards. That's why it's always a good thing whenever I say, like, Howard the Duck. Because that means, oh, Cindy Lopper. Oh, there's a there's gum in that. Dinosaurs Attack. Oh, there's gum in that. That's good. All these shitty cards from the 80s. Oh, wacky packages. Nasty tricks. There's gum in those. So, yeah. It's not good gum, but it's, it's gum. I wonder what this gum tasted like back in 1986. Think of how much shit that this gum has gone through. This gum has gone through... Well, I'm I'm almost 30. This gum is 31. So, uh... This gum has been sitting in, a, in the package 
just completely like I think about all the stuff that I've gone through in my life, right? All the all the the high points, all the low points, all the you know the all the happenings, just not just in my life, but in the world. You know, the the fucking Berlin Wall came down, and this gum was this gum was around while the world was evolving. This gum sat in a wax package of Howard the Duck trading cards and rotted, only to be opened up 31 years later for some fucking asshole on a YouTube channel, forward slash Twitch channel, Twitch stream, to eat and make jokes about at, in, in the year of our, of our Lord 2017. That's so crazy. Like, I, that's, that's the stuff that goes through my head when I open up shit like this, where it's like, these stupid worthless cards have been sitting in a, in a, in a booster pack forever, for the entirety of my life. Everything I've ever done, everything I've ever seen, said, heard, visited, everything I've ever done in my life, these cards have been around for, but they've, they've been sealed. No one has ever known what's been in this booster pack. So, I, I don't know. I think about weird shit like that, which is why I have such a knack for stuff like this, which is why I'm, which is why I'm interested in this. Yeah, uh, uh, Chernobyl. I think, I think Chernobyl was 84 or 82, though. I'm not sure. That was a little bit before this gum's time. Just a little bit. I'm guessing three. So here we go. Is that ten bits? Ten bits for number twenty-three. Should have. Been, oh fuck. Holy shit! It landed on three. <laughs> I win. I win. Here we go. It is. All real monsters, from 1995. So uh, there's six trading cards in the pack. These cards have stayed in this package for 23 years. 23 oh shit 23 there you go it's it all comes it's all this is spooky man and we're playing goosebumps tonight too oh spooky oh spooky oh. um for those of you who aren't familiar with with ah real monsters that's the name of the show it's ah real monsters um this was a uh animated series that aired on nickelodeon you can tell from the little logo right there and it was about monsters that uh just did monster things like they went to a spooky scare academy and their teacher was called the Gromble, I think, and he had four legs and he wore high heels because everything was gross and spooky looking and nothing made any fucking sense. Uh, they're from '95. You get six of them. Let's see what we got. This is more of a logo thing right here, but let's get into the let's get into the the deets, the copyright deets. I'm sure everyone everyone's just dying to see. Uh, 1995, Viacom. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Klasky Chupo animated this. So if you were looking at this and saying, wow, those monsters sure do look ugly, it's, um, it's because A, they're monsters and they're supposed to be ugly, but they're also ugly by default because it's the fucking Klasky Chupo animation house, which did Rugrats and Wild Thornberries and, uh, As Told by Ginger and all these other, and Rocket, Rocket, how could I fucking forget about Rocket Power? Wow! Did I almost subconsciously erase Rocket Power from my memory? Until just now? Holy shit, man. My life was almost on like an upswing right there, can you believe that? So, um, I don't know how much these sold for back in the day, but there was only six of them. So I'd venture a guess and say they were probably like a dollar to a dollar fifty a pack. Something like that. Uh... <laughs> And wow, that just that just tore open like immediately. Okay, well we're gonna open from the back then. <coughs> I don't know if Mark Mothersbaugh did uh, All Real Monsters. I don't know if he did the music for that, but I know he did it for Rugrats, so it w <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Anyways, um, I try not to destroy the wrappers because I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with them yet, like to decorate the set with. So, um, first things first is it looks like we have a color card, which is always a kind of a cop-out because that means they just don't have to print anything in color. And you're supposed to, you just do the coloring yourself. Are we just, are we gonna have one of those nights and you're just not gonna focus even though it's the only thing in the shot? We gotta, there we go. I mean, it just, it just looks, it just looks like something off of fucking DeviantArt, right? That just, just by default, this was on television, national television. There, there's the grumble. I hope his name is Gromble and, like, someone doesn't in the chat. This is this is the type of show where if I got the name of something wrong, there's going to be somebody in the fucking comments being like, actually, blah, I, I have this entire show on VHS and I watch it every fucking weekend. I watch the whole series and I know every character. And I don't, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. This is throwing me off because, like, 
I, I uh, Ickis has been replaced with fucking Caillou, and I don't. Uh, this is this has got to be like a thing from the. I'm sure this would make sense in the context of the episode it's from, or, or not, because it's a it's a fucking Nickelodeon cartoon. It's not it's not gonna make, it's not gonna make sense. But um, unfortunately, there's no back of the card for me to read to tell you the context because instead it's just a picture I'm supposed to color in. So uh, can't do that. So throw that out there. Now let's take a look at the, the, the remaining five cards, flip them over, and see see what we got. This one is. Oh man, that's. Those are those are their tongues, and they're doing like like a stinky breath thing. Every I just realized every fucking card we get is gonna be it's just gonna be a parade through fucking DeviantArt. Just fo just focus already. Come on, I spent. This camera cost me like 80 goddamn dollars or whatever. You can focus on something that's literally right in front of you. Do you have any context on the back of this? Uh, oh. Okay, this is actually, it's not stinky bad breath. This is, this is, um, this is how this, this is a natural biological process. Let me read the back here. It's not going to focus. There we go. Air sacs are critical to monsters' survival. The Academy teaches the monsters the art of filling their sacs with life-giving, noxious garbage air to survive in the oxygen-rich human environment for up to 48 hours. That's, um, that's where they, they, they live in a trash dump. They live underneath the landfill. That's, that makes sense now. Um, so, there we go. Next card is... What am I looking at? This looks like this looks like the type of X-ray cutaway you'd see on like a fucking hentai picture, which is why I'm I'm very deeply concerned. Please tell me there's something on the back to tell me what the fuck is going on, and it's not just okay. Thank you, uh, Monster Life. So they're giving someone a night a nightmare. Okay, here we go. Giving nightmares to humans is a monster specialty. While a human is sleeping, a monster inserts a finger into his forward slash her inner ear, reaching the brain and turning dream world into scream world. So! Oh, okay, so that would be the... It's just, it's... This is a head drawn in classy Chupo art style, which is why it looks like shit. And then that's the ear, and then this is like an x-ray thing of uh, them poking the brain with their finger. So! Um, I know one person who I believe is watching this stream right now who is uh, probably jerking off. So I'm going to blue ball him, and I'm going to put it over here upside down so he can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> Electric Sheep City. <laughs> ah, real hentai. <laughs> no Electric Sheep City. Yamate. Yamate. Anyways, here's, a, here's an imposter. An imposter monster. Uh, you can see he looks... He, Looks like a fucking weirdo and uh, a monster furry. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know what his costume looks like because they don't have a picture of it. But let's take a look on the back. Monsters don't dance. Card two of two. As our monster trio tries to save Murray, the monster, by flushing him down the toilet to the underground, his oh that's Murray. Okay, okay. His name Murray. M U R R A Y, not M U R R Y, but mm, you get it. That is great. That might... That's a... <laughs> so, okay. Alright, let's just... <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to talk about on this card, right? The inconsistencies in the Klasky Chupo art style. Crumb is supposed to have, like, underarm hair and look really gross, and you can see him from... He's in... There he is. Here he is. Here's the other card with him in it, and he's all like lumpy and chunky, and he's got like he looks like a unshaven nutsack, or no, I'm sorry, he looks like a nutsack that's been shaven that hasn't been shaven again in about two weeks. So uh, there's that. But then you look here, and it's like totally smooth. It's like baby's butt, no hair, no nothing, no lumpy, no frumpy, absolutely nothing. So they they just uh, there's there's no consistency to their style. And that's it 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 amazes me. That not only did their shows last so long on Nickelodeon, but they had like fucking six of them or something. I just I don't I don't get it. But 
that's that's the that's that's the nineties, man. That's the art style. Every, everybody bitches about cartoons today, looking like Cal Arts and saying, "Oh, Thundercats, the new Thundercats." Might as well call it Steven Pumaverse. It looks like the same shit. Yeah, every cartoon looks like that these days, right? But uh, back in the nineties, everything looked like shit. So you can't really, not really want want to complain. Oh shit, is this the dude? It's not the dude, is it? No, that's a di no, fuck it. Never mind. Ickus is befriended by Pug, P U H G. A monster from the wrong side of the garbage heap who calls the academy students a bunch of snotty losers. Uh, Ickus wants to be in with Pug's ghoul crowd and does his best to impress him. Although they were forbidden to go above ground to scare, Ickus follows Pug who lies to Ickus about filling his air sack. That doesn't tell me anything about the episode. Like clearly, okay, clearly you can infer from from this summer summary that uh it's an episode about fitting in, right? About don't, about don't, you know, don't hang out with the wrong crowd, you know. This could, this could just as easily be some kid getting offered a cigarette by some fucking kid in high school, right? It's the same, it's the same trope, right? But rather than have some type of resolution on the back that shares the moral of the, the story, it just, it, right, right when it's getting there, he, he lies about his sack. He lies about this. Like e even in context, that doesn't make any sense because it's like it seems like that's something that belongs like earlier in the, whatever man. We got the tongue one. We got the grumble one. We got the purple guy. We got the other purple guy that's not a real monster. He's not ah real monsters. He's fuck. There's a joke there. There's a joke. There's a play on Ah Real Monsters to, for the guy who's not Ah Real Monsters. And I can't think of it right now, and it's making me mad. So we're just going to skip on, and we got the spooky one, and then we got the brain one, which I'm going to continue to... I'm, I'm going to continue the gag of not showing the other side of it, just, just for consistency's sake. I don't know if I have any of these that I like. I like this one, only for the facial expressions. And the rest are just like... I don't like the rest. So this... This is the only one I like. <laughs> so this this will be going into my collection of Gator Box trading cards, of which I I was going to decorate the wall with behind me, but the shelves are there, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But this goes this goes in the good stuff. This goes into the pile of things that uh, who knows what. <laughs> but.